Now let's do part two of number series tips. Since number series ay laging lumalabas sa civil service exam, then I suggest you watch part one of this video. So below are the common patterns of questions usually asked in number series. Let's do them one by one. Prime series, in which the terms are prime numbers in order. Number one. Here the terms of the series are the prime numbers in order. So the prime number after 13 is 17. So 17 ang sagot dito. Alternate primes. This one meron pa siyang 3. Meron pa siyang 5. Here the series is framed by taking the alternative prime numbers. After 23, the prime number are 29 and 31. So the answer is 31. Every third number can be the sum of the preceding two numbers. So 3 plus 5 equals 8. 5 plus 8 equals 13. 8 plus 13 equals 21. So 13 plus 21 equals 34. So the answer here is 34. Every third number can be the product of the preceding two numbers. 1 times 2 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, 4 times 8 equals 32, so 8 times 32 equals 256, so this is the answer. The difference of any term from its succeeding term is constant, either increasing series or decreasing series. Here the difference is 3, 3, so 10 plus 3, 3, and 3, so 19 plus 3, that is 22. So the answer here is 22. Next, the difference between two consecutive terms will be either increasing or decreasing by constant number. Here, the difference between two consecutive numbers are 8, this is 16, 24, and this is 32. So the difference is increasing by 8 or you can say the multiples of 8. So the next difference will be 40 or 32 plus 8. So the answer will be 82 plus 40 that is 122. Next, here the difference between the two terms are 15. This is 13, 11, 9, so the difference is decreasing by, decreased by 2, so the next difference will be 7. 15 minus 7 equals 8. The difference between two numbers can be multiplied by a constant number. So, ang difference dito ay 1, 3, 9, at 27. So, meaning this is multiplied by 3 equals 3, multiplied by 3 equals 9, 9 times 3 equals 27, so 27 times 3, and that is 81. So 55 plus 81, the answer is 136. Next, the difference can be multiplied by numbers, which will be increasing by constant number. So ang difference niya ay 1, uh, 2, 6, 24. So the difference are multiplied by numbers which are in increasing order. This is times 2, kaya naging 2, times 3, kaya naging 6, times 4, kaya naging 24. So 24 times 5, and that is 120. So itong 120, yan yung i-add natin sa 35. So the answer is 155. Next. Every succeeding term is got by multiplying the previous term by a constant number or numbers which follow a special term. Number 10, this is 5 times 3 equals 15. 15 times 3 equals 45. And 45 times 3 equals 135. So the pattern is multiplied by 3. So 135 times 3 equals 405. So the answer is 405. Next, this one. We multiplied by 5, kaya naging 10. Multiplied by 4, that kaya naging 40. So 40 times 3, that is 120. And 120 times 2, that is 240. So 240 times 1 is 240. So the answer here is 240. In certain series, the terms are formed by various rules, miscellaneous rules. By keen observation, you have to find out the rule and the appropriate answer. 
Number 12. Obserbahan ang pattern. Number 13. Obserbahan nyo yung pattern. Times 2 minus 1, naging times 3 minus 1, times 4 minus 1, times 5 minus 1. So the answer is 274. Next, number 14. Dito tayo. Obserbahan yung pattern. Nag-increase siya sa pag-multiply at pag-add. So the answer is 479. Next, number 15. So, observahan yung pattern, constant yung multiply pero yung ina-add, decreasing ang number. So, the answer is 160. Now, let's have a quick recap about the tips for number series. Number one, try to observe if there are any familiar numbers in the given series. Number two, familiar numbers are the numbers which are easy to identify like prime numbers, perfect square, cubes. If you are unable to find familiar numbers, calculate the differences between the numbers and observe the pattern in the differences. Number four, if the differences are growing slowly, it might be an addition or subtraction series. Or if the differences are growing rapidly, it might be a square series, cube series, or multiplicative series. Number five, if the differences also are not having any pattern, then observe for every alternative number like third number uh, form of series for any pattern. The possible cases may be like sum or the average of two consecutive numbers gives third number. If still you do not find any pattern, it signifies that the series follows a complex pattern. Check for cases like multiplying the number and adding or subtracting a constant number from it to reach the pattern.